Hi dear students, in this special series on subject wise strategy, we are going to identify all the important topics that you must keep in mind before you start working on a subject. We will be looking at the trend for each subject and then mapping it to all the tasks in the app so that you can prepare better and score better. In this video, we will look at the strategy for preparing general pathology. Now, general pathology relatively is an easier subject because there is a lot of good overlap with oral pathology and physiology and sometimes microbiology too. But the things to keep in mind are the very obvious questions that belong only to pathology in terms of uh, inflammation, mediators, apoptosis. So all these questions also clinically will uh, be relevant in terms where you are studying perio or medicine. So there's a lot of good overlap of patho. In general, seven questions are expected. But as you can see, it is a little underreported when it comes to the trend over the past years. That's because of uh, the difficulty in categorizing each questions, each question particularly only to uh, general path. Now, in order to understand the different topics which are important in path, we will uh, look at all the questions from previous NEET MDS exams and categorize them into their respective topics on the left side, right? And then we will see how to prepare all these topics. So starting with generalized edema in a malnourished four year old child, and this is because of serum uh, albumin deficiency. So that's hemodynamics. Then Klinefelter syndrome is associated with infertility in males. Then on blood group incompatibility. And the next question is on a patient having long standing infection with serous discharge. So questions on transudates and exudates very important. Which of the following is an anti apoptotic gene BCL2. Morphologic changes seen in reversible cell injury are hydropic changes. Now we can also go through the explanation of these questions. The explanations will tell you all the information that's necessary uh, regarding that question itself and a lot of other possible questions that could arise from the same topic. Key concept will be more concise. It will reinforce the concept. And additionally, don't forget to watch the video explanations attached to all of these questions. The video explanations are excellent for understanding the topic uh, because there is a good discussion on how to eliminate possible options. And there is a lot of parallel knowledge that comes simultaneously with these explanations. Right, then the next question is on Gohn's complex in tuberculosis. That's inflammation. Then triple response. That's again inflammation. Another name for Cooley is anemia. Now, anemia related questions. We have categorized a lot of these questions under OPATH. Anemia, leukemia and blood disorders. All of them you will also find in OPATH. So here will be all straightforward questions, more applied questions in oral path. G6PD leads to hemolytic anemia. Then a case-based question with all the findings, intraoral and extraoral and blood counts for aplastic anemia. Like I said, look at the explanations. They are going to be very useful. Take down important notes in your workbook. Then another case-based question, a 25-year-old female patient post-delivery had difficulty in breathing and then there are complaints of hypotension, tachycardia called cyanotic extremities and there is a, a post-mortem finding of the patient with infarcts. So this is because of amniotic fluid embolism. Then there's the pedigree chart, so genetics. Now, pedigree charts can be a little difficult to interpret sometimes. You need good practice. So, make sure you look at the explanation and understand how to solve these questions. A bedridden patient since a year was paralyzed a week ago and was declared dead. On autopsy, you will see liquefactive necrosis in brain. Histamine related questions. It's secreted from basophils. So, that's inflammatory mediator. Then features suggestive of poor prognosis. So that's neoplas uh, neoplastic cells, neoplasia. Then genetics, father transmits the disease to all his daughters. This means it, it is an X-linked dominant trait. More in the explanation. Here you will also find pedigree charts. Workhouse triad. So 
So this is thrombosis. Then the process by which components of the plasma make the bacteria tasty. This is opsonization, complement pathway. So inflammation. Siderophage is a modified macrophage which contains, uh, which is responsible in CBC lung, heart failure cells. Which of the following is cause of delayed healing of fracture? So wound healing. Wound healing questions also seen in surgery. So you can expect common questions between surgery and path in that sense. Again, a common question on healing. Abrasion of skin heals by epithelialization. Abrasion of skin heals by epithelialization. Father transmits the disease to all his daughters. This is a repeat question. Exact repeat we saw earlier. Now the mother transmits the disease to all her children. This could be a mitochondrial way of inheritance. Which of the following is associated with exudative effusion? So again, hemodynamics. Patient comes to the hospital with kidney damage. Blood smear shows thrombocytopenia. This is bleeding disorders. Which of the following is not a characteristic of white infarct? So that's hemodynamics. So of the total 27 questions, maximum number of uh, these questions are from hemodynamics and hemostasis. So edema and thrombosis are two important chapters to read. Then secondly, you see anemia, uh, WBC and platelet disorders. The count may be a little lower here because they are very direct patho-based questions, but applied questions in oral path are extensive. So your preparation on path and oral path should go hand in hand. And then inflammatory mediators that you see here are also parallel. You'll see a lot of mediator related questions in perio. So that's important. And general aspects of neoplasia, now that also corresponds to neoplastic uh, cell features and dysplasia in oral path. So it's basically path is a mix and match of a lot of subjects together. And to be able to understand path correctly, focus on the original path questions with regards to hemodynamics, hemostasis and staining and everything. Now, as far as amyloidosis, apoptosis, cell injury, all these questions, all these topics are considered. They are more or less fitting in some other chapters. That's why the uh, assignment here is not reflecting very well on these topics. But that doesn't mean you will neglect those topics. Now, how do you prepare this uh, subject in the app? So you will go through these tasks in the app and look at all the notes. So suppose if you want to prepare apoptosis, you will go to workbook, open the video, check out the notes, prepare everything, look at the schematic images, okay? And then once your preparation is complete, you will start practicing questions and then take test. Now it is necessary for you to complete all the tasks in a given subject so that you can maximize your preparation right from the beginning. And now I will tell you how to maximize your preparation with Meritor's app. Now, there are five things to keep in mind when you start your preparation for any subject at any given point of time. Number one is to start with tasks. Like I said, tasks are the building blocks. They are your foundation and fundamental for any subject. You need to start preparing for the task with the workbook. You, you must look at the video if you have any doubts regarding the topic and then practice questions and then you can take the test. Now, whenever you are taking a test or practicing questions, each question comes with the answer, explanation and key concept. The explanation will be elaborate. It will tell you everything that you need to know about the topic. It is a good source of taking down notes because a lot of additional questions can be asked from the existing explanations, right? And if you are well versed with the topic, you can just look at the key concept and reinforce the topic in your mind. Additionally, a lot of questions also come with multiple choice question videos, which are explanatory videos. They are going to talk about how to eliminate options, how to strategically focus on the question and additional knowledge that comes with the topic. So your first aim should be to complete all these tasks for a given subject and then move on to the next thing that is QBank. Now QBank or question bank is a collection of high yield extensive questions. They are clubbed together in uh, topics, they are clubbed together chapter wise and you will have more hands on experience on difficult and extensive preparation on these questions. Again, they will come with explanatory videos, 
explanations and key concepts. So once your tasks and Q bank for a given subject are complete, you are good to appear for the weekly checkpoint tests. Now the tests are of two types in the app. One is the weekly checkpoint test and self-paced test. I'll tell you about the weekly checkpoint test first. So suppose if you are preparing one subject over the week, then at the end of the week, you will have a test which is going to focus on that specific subject plus the subjects that were previously prepared, right? So that kind of snowballs the entire revision strategy. You will have a repeated encounter of multiple subjects from time to time. So you do not forget. It's easier to keep these topics in mind when you constantly see them. So the revision is reinforced. Plus you also get personalized AI recommendations, right? So at the end of your test, based on your performance, you will get how many questions you answered, what was the score, how much was the negative marking, where are you lacking, what are your stronger points? And then it will tell you how much time to dedicate for a revision of your weaker subjects. So with this strategy, you will be able to focus on specific areas that are your weaknesses. Now that is an exceptional feature of Meritor's app. And the next set of tests is self-paced test, which you can take at any given point of time. These are subject wise tests. You can also have cumulative tests, multiple recall questions also incorporated in form of tests. And towards the end of your preparation phase, you will have a lot of volatile, factual high yield questions uh, in form of final strokes, which are again specialized tests to be able to remember these topics clearly before the exam. Now, once you come closer towards the end of your preparation, you will have access to this special feature of the app called Marathon. This is activated towards the end of your preparation where you will have 3500 plus high yield questions. High yield questions meaning they have the chances to uh, be seen in the exam because either they are based on recall questions or because they are based on important concepts that are repeatedly seen in the exam. So when you practice these 3500 plus questions, you will also enter an all India competition where you will get a fair idea as to how your performance is with comparison to your colleague. It's a great boost of confidence if you take it at the right time. And lastly, we have the all famous national mocks, which is a pan India or all India nationwide uh, simulation of NEET MDS exam. We conduct them uh, towards the end of your preparation in a few months to go. And every weekend you will have access to this special test. You will see a lot of new questions in national mocks, uh, which are based on important topics. So do not miss national mocks because it gives you a good hands on experience of the exam. It gives you an idea of time management because this is exactly according to need pattern. That is 240 questions and three hours with negative marking. So you, you kind of get a very fair and square idea of your performance because this is again an all India competitive uh, mock exam and you will get personalized AI recommendations here as well. Now they are more important for uh, national mocks too because uh, towards the end when you are revising you will not know which subject to pick up at what time and your performance in the national mock will be assessed thoroughly and you will get your AI recommendations which will tell you which subjects to revise. So make sure that you are making use of all of these features in the app. Now, apart from that, if there is any query that you have while solving your questions, if you have any doubts regarding any topics, you can always contact the faculty on the WhatsApp group. We are always here to help you. And I hope with this in mind, you will be able to channelize all your preparation strategy in the right direction. And I hope we'll be able to help you achieve your dream seat in MDS. Thank you so much and good luck from Team Meritors.